Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to cover over some update info and things that got added today in NGS. Right away, I'm going to mention to y'all, the seal got updated and there's actually a new 10 star armor that's been added in, but let's go ahead and jump on into it. So right away, I want to point out to y'all, there's a really nice campaign going on all the way up till August 27th. This is going to be a daily thing. Make sure immediately you go to Central City, go to the first shop on the left, the item trader Travis, and go to Growthment 2 Exchange. Now up at the top of the list, there's a daily trade for Beta Reactor and also 10 Star Jumps. Now the Beta Reactor is 100,000 Masetta, so you can actually do this daily. And the reset's going to be at nighttime. I believe it's uh, I believe it's around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. Eastern time, somewhere around there. Uh, it'll tell you up in the top right what time it's going to be. As the, the time I'm recording this, it's around nine hours from the time I started recording. But you want to make sure that you hit this daily. Now, there's some other stuff that's been added inside of here, too. The Growth Mint 2 Exchange has a lot of like emotes and costumes and different things like that. So definitely be sure to go through and check it all out, but make sure, most importantly, that you hit that daily trade for the beta reactor and also the star gems. It's going to be happening every single day. Now, Growth Mint 1 Exchange actually has some build parts and stuff added inside of there too, so be sure to check that out as well. So this week, Sega has updated the Lucille Exploration Quest, and it actually has like some Mars mechanics in there now and stuff too. And they even added an old Sharonia boss from base PSL2 as well, and as well the camo that comes from him too, which looks pretty cool. Now, I did want to mention that they've added the Ecstasis armor, which is the new 10-star armor to the game. And this drops inside the Lucille Exploration. And actually, come to find out, it can drop from Alio UQs too. So if you do the urgent quest for like Dark Falls Interception, Dark Falls at Aegis, you can actually get a hold of the new 10-star armor via those too. Now, saying that, something even better is I found out that you can run triggers that you get from the Alliance Badge Shop. You can run the triggers for Dark Falls Interceptor and Dark Falls Aegis, and you can also get 10 star armors from there too. And it actually has an extremely high drop rate from doing those triggers. So it's probably one of the best things you could do right now, trying to farm those new armors and trying to get like a high level fix on them and stuff. So we do have a couple of new build parts that has been added into the game. This is based off of base PSL2 furnishings. It's a Chinese style retro themed build parts. So if you're into CS, make sure that you check that out. There is some new build parts you can get a hold of. So we do have a new AC scratch that's been added into the game today, Summer Athlete. And this actually has some really nice stuff inside of the scratch listing too. There's a lot of really cool like athletic outfits inside of here. There's some pretty cool like outerwear and stuff like that. There's also some really nice motions and emotes inside of here too. In particular, I want to mention there's Sid 11 inside of here. I plan on picking this up later and trying to showcase it. I gotta get together some Masada to pick it up, but apparently it has like several po uh, poses to it. So I think it's actually like six poses all in one for this set, so it's actually like six different sets inside of set 11. So it's definitely a nice emote, I would say. Now, I did want to point out when this scratch, when it comes to the scratch in particular, my friend Kurone, she has made an outfit showcase video showing off a color guide of sorts, showing the differences between all of these outfits here. She'll show you which pieces hide and which pieces can be colored and stuff like that, which is very helpful for figuring out which one of the outfits you want to buy to save you some Masada, not making a mistake. So I'm going to leave a link in the video description below to Corona's YouTube video so y'all can check that out. So the ARC's record ranking for this week is going to be the Vanishing Path 2 Solo. Now you can find this over in Central Kavaris. You can find it at the little cocoon here. You can see on the little map that I've been pointing here for y'all. Now you want to make sure that you do a run of this to get a participation reward. And as always, if you have characters on multiple ships, it's a good idea to do one run per ship because it is an individual ranking reward, which gives individual ranking reward arc striker badges. And in turn, you can use those for the arc striker badge exchange for the weekly star gems. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for the video. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, friends. I'll see you all in the next one.